Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Fooling Houdini, a creation by Alex Stone. Alex Stone, a PhD candidate in physics at Columbia University, is a magic enthusiast who has written for numerous magazines and newspapers. Fooling Houdini is his debut bestseller. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Fooling Houdini, published in 2012, follows the writer's quest to master the craft of magic, exploring its origins, philosophy, and close connection with science. With audio and text to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On StoryPlaner.net To start, explore the shared elements of science and magic and the potential lessons they can offer each other. The text discusses the connection between magic and science. While many lose the wonder of magic as they grow up, the summarizer highlight how magic and science share similarities and have lessons for each other. It mentions insights such as a gorilla in plain sight going unnoticed, the origin of hocus pocus, and why children are less easily deceived than adults. Key idea number one, magic is akin to gambling and business in many ways. Magic is linked to gambling and deception. Skilled magicians and gamblers both rely on secrecy and strategy. Con artists, magicians, gamblers, and financial professionals share common skills related to risk, bluffing, and leveraging luck to stay ahead. Magic employs tricks like the ego hook to manipulate perceptions and create illusions of safety or superiority. Key idea number two. Magic is not based on keeping secrets, but on the art of deception. The masked magician revealed magic secrets on TV, sparking debate among magicians on the impact of exposure. While traditional secrecy is important in magic, sharing tricks can lead to innovation and progress in the art form. Magicians have a history of sharing secrets and creating new tricks. The essence of magic lies in deception rather than secrecy, as illustrated by a trick that baffled Houdini demonstrating the evolution of magic and the enduring appeal of classic illusions despite exposure. Key idea number three, touch sensitivity is a crucial aspect of performing magic tricks. Touch sensitivity is crucial for magicians to perform card tricks without looking while shuffling. Blind individuals often possess heightened touch sensitivity, making them adept at magic. Research indicates that the brain processes tactile impressions and lights up when reading braille. Human hands are equipped with densely packed sensors, allowing anyone to identify objects through touch. Losing hands can impair spatial perception. Magicians must train their touch sensitivity, and the type of deck used affects trick performance. Key idea number four. Magic relies on exploiting the audience's visual, tactile, and verbal limitations. Inattentional blindness occurs when not paying attention, as shown in a University of Illinois experiment with a gorilla walking through a ball-passing game. Magicians use misdirections to take advantage of human blindness, like removing a watch unnoticed. Change blindness is illustrated by editing mistakes in movie scenes, often unnoticed. Magicians exploit this phenomenon successfully. Children are less prone to inattentional blindness due to their unfocused attention. Key idea number five. Magic should incorporate humor alongside emotion and fear to be truly effective. The text discusses mentalism, utilizing the Barnum effect to create personal connections, how Houdini used cold reading to amaze audiences, the entertaining aspect of magic performances by magicians and clowns, and the comedic origins shared between magic and clowning, like the origin of the term hocus pocus from religious satire. Key idea number six, magic shares similarities with science. Science and magic have similarities and historical connections. Founders of modern science were interested in alchemy, and magicians can use scientific principles for tricks. Magicians like Jean Eugène and Robert Houdin have contributed to science. De Brugin sequences, based on mathematical principles, can be used in magic tricks for logical deduction. Play, experimentation, and innovation are key elements in both science and magic. 
In conclusion, the book emphasizes that magic involves more than just tricks. It is about understanding your audience, honing your skills, and applying physical and mathematical principles. It is interconnected with other disciplines like science, finance, and gambling. For feedback, email RememberStoryPlanetNet with the book's title as the subject line. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.